Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about lymphoma in the dog. And lymphoma is a cancer that dogs get, and dogs get lymphoma quite regularly. And unfortunately guys, lymphoma doesn't care how old or young a doggy is. I've seen lymphoma in dogs that are two years old up to very geriatric. Lymphoma will affect the lymph nodes. And what I want you to get today is, your veterinarian of course is gonna diagnose lymphoma, but the goal for you should be is at home, you should be able to look your doggy over and have a better understanding of does my dog have something really bad like lymphoma or is something else going on? The way a pet owner can better understand if their dog may have lymphoma is by looking their whole dog over and doing a physical exam on their dog. What that looks like for you as a pet owner is you need to be assessing lymph nodes. Now, lymph nodes are what drains the, the lymphatic system, and the lymphatic system, just like humans, uh, can be found all over the entire body. Now, the lymph nodes, guys, are found in a handful of different areas, and when you look at this doggy here, I'm gonna circle a couple areas, and lymph nodes to look at would be included um, under the jaw or the mandibular lymph nodes. You're also gonna see lymph nodes near the clavicles or the subclavian ones. You're also going to notice lymph nodes in the armpit or the axillaries. You're going to have lymph nodes in the inguinal or inner thighs. And very important ones, you're going to have lymph nodes in the popliteal area or behind the kneecaps. Now, these lymph nodes, guys, are all very important for the dog's overall health. And lymph nodes can be uh, big or large for a handful of different reasons, especially the lymph nodes in the mouth, guys. These lymph nodes can be large because of infection in the, in the, from the teeth or who knows what else because the mouth can be very dirty because dogs are eating and chewing things all the time, and that can lead to swollen lymph nodes up here. Now, the thing I want you to get about lymphoma is it should and most of the time gonna affect a lot more lymph nodes in one area. So what a veterinarian will do is they will go around and palpate all these different lymph nodes looking for uh, do all the lymph nodes uh, have consistency of being swollen? Are they all a problem? If all the lymph nodes are big, especially the ones behind the knees or the ones on the inner thighs, if all these lymph nodes are big, you have a much higher chance of having cancer in your doggy. What the veterinarian will then do is they will sample or poke these different lymph nodes and put them under a microscope slide and get a final aspirate diagnosis. Now, this is just a first step. A lot of other things need to happen to really understand the severity and the extent of lymphoma. But by doing a final aspirate, a veterinarian can diagnose the lymphoma and then move forward with oncology or talk about possible treatment options with you once the diagnosis has been reached. What lymphoma is, guys, is it's a round cell tumor. And round cell tumors are just a... Um, they're just a, uh, a class of tumors that are differentiated by, by uh, the fact that they are round cells or lymphocytes. But as a pet parent, if you look at your doggy and do a physical and check these different lymph node areas, and guys, I know it sounds overwhelming, but it's, it's not too bad. All you need to do is just apply general pressure to these different areas. And if you can't feel anything, that's great. It doesn't mean you shouldn't go in still. Uh, you should still go and get your doggy checked over. But if all these are really big, that should key you in that I have a really big problem. Now, if one is big or a couple are big or the uh, the jaw ones are big, that's different, right? Because that could be infection, that could be a vascular anomaly, it could be all kinds of things. But if all of them are big, that means you have a generalized problem affecting your doggy, and that could be a major problem like cancer.